The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za. Now it's time to chat. We run Josie. And Sarushka, who is the communications uh, manager for Nike, is in studio with us today. Uh, thank you for coming in. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, Shame, have you been in terrible traffic out there? Well, running around as well. We've got the last day of Expo taking place today at the Zone in Rosebank. Uh, last bit of collections. 10,000 runners who are going to be lining up tomorrow. So it's been a hectic three days. Okay, so let's... 10,000 runners, that is that is big. How big was the last Nike run, Josie? So this is a, the third installment. The first yes. one we had, which was in the city of Joburg, yes. that was 10,000 runners. It was also a night race. Um, and then we had the big race, uh, double the field, 20,000 runners in October. That was the We Run Jersey yes, from I've Santa done to Alex. Oh, well done for that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going back to the city, night run, 10,000 runners once again. Okay. And why are you going back to the night run? I did prefer that. Um, to the yeah, I think general. a lot of people did. You know, I think it's just it's mixing and matching a little bit and giving the runners the opportunity to experience something different. So we've had a night run, we've had a day run. Um, and going back to the city this time, the routes are different as well. Uh, there's something unique about this route in the sense that everyone will start together, but the route will then split after a few kilometers and you'll get half the field running downtown and the other half running uptown. Oh, I didn't realize you all started together. That's quite fun. And then kind of red t-shirts this way, gray t-shirts the other exactly way. That's exactly it. So you've got half the field in red and half the field in the gray. The red is for the uptown runners. The route it itself, that split section is so different. So you're not going to see each other um, and then you'll converge after a short distance and finish together oh, um, on Mary nice. Fitzgerald Square. And tell me, are they the same level of difficulty, the two routes? Yeah, they, they both, it's 10 kilometers, so it, it, it um, you know, it's even Stevens there. And with regards to the, uh, the, the, the actual challenge itself, the routes are both uh, quite unique. Because you challenging. know the red team's going to tell the gray team that the, their route was harder and vice versa. Of course, you know, <laughs> so that's, that's the whole thing. It's about playing up and the move uptown, downtown. Um, and everyone gets to share that after the race in terms of what they've experienced en route. There's plenty of entertainment. So from the start up to the build up, you know, um, at seven o'clock when the race kicks off, DJs and entertainment. We've got a warm up session with the coach and then the race starts itself. We also have en route itself, lots of um, entertainment there. That's what when I did the first uh, run Josie at night, I couldn't believe the vibe and everyone that lived in the city was out on the streets cheering you on, you know, the complete strangers. Everyone was hanging out their windows, hanging out the bars, all like cheering you on. It really. And then you've got the entertainment that you guys provide. So it really is like quite a unique experience. It is so unique and you know what's different when you're in your car kind of driving through the city you don't actually get to see and, and take in what the city has to offer so at night um you know everyone's coming out and you actually see the city coming to life it is so amazing <laughs> well, sasha what are you giggling about are you doing the we run jersey on saturday night with your bug no sarushka is just my favorite <laughs> oh <laughs> hey sash <laughs> um okay so um two routes this year okay but you all start and finish together you've got the red route and you've got the gray route and um it starts at seven o'clock mm -hmm. and maybe with t obviously ten thousand people taking part there are a lot of logistics to take into consideration people that are running where should they park how should they go about getting there yeah there's plenty of parking we've got something like four thousand parking bays within the oriental plaza precinct um okay. and then of course you have you know people that's going to be parking close to mary fitzgerald square we're encouraging everyone to come through from 4 p.m onwards entertainment galore so you know you're not going to just like rock up and, and have to wait until seven o'clock there's so much going on there's so much to take in um and that's the the logistics of that sorted out post race so when everyone gets through to mary fitzgerald square we have post race celebration uh for all the runners that cross the finish line goldfish and shiana sky are performing live ah. Um, so that's celebrating with the runners on the square. Brilliant. And um, we should see the first runners, uh, the professionals rather, coming in at around 7.30. Okay, now I tried to enter, but the, uh, the, the entries were full. So if if people haven't entered, they they can't still enter, can they? Unfortunately, not. So and okay. you know that's that's what we were anticipating because we've had two amazing races and everyone's been looking forward to this run. So as soon as registrations yeah, opened, I, I mean, was slow of the month. Within a few days, it was already halfway through. You know, and um, in in three weeks' time, we closed registrations. Ten thousand runners all signed up. Um, 
Over the last three days, including today, we've got the race pack collections taking place at the zone. And apparently that's quite, quite awesome. It a is friend so of mine awesome. Went, because there's a whole scene going on there. It is totally. I mean, you, you arrive, you pick up your race pack, you can have your tea customized like that. <laughs> okay, let's. So Rishka brought in your race, the race t-shirt. So just hold it up to the camera there. So you get a little sneak peek of what. And the other side, the front. So this is the, the gray shirt. and That um, is so Very nicely nice. branded. It's got, and it's, you know. It's got the We Run Josie. So I want. I just want to do it for the T-shirt. <laughs> I think lots of people do do it for the T-shirt. And you wearing the red. The I'm red wearing. I'm running uptown. So <laughs> you're going uptown. So when they come to the zone, they collect their packs. And what else is there? Yeah, and then there's a you know there's a couple of stations. So we've got um, Vitality. Um, the guys from Discovery who, if you're running and you're a Discovery member, you can actually um, earn points. points. So that's that's a big bonus. Uh, the guys from Dermalogica and then, uh, you know, of course, the trial, uh, trial area. So you can come in and try a pair of trainers on. Make sure that sure. you are well kitted out. Um, your goodie bag's got a whole lot of information as well with regards to parking, what to do, what to prepare um, and how to, you know, to kind of get there to the start as well. Um, and then obviously the, the post-race as I say, everyone comes through to the finish line and everyone gets a medal. So, you know, you're all, everyone's a winner. That's, that's what's so <laughs> cool about it. Sure. And now M Nike must just be loving this. Everywhere, whether you go to gym or you just see people running on the road, people are wearing their Nike Run Josie t-shirts. It's been like a, a brilliant brand initiative. I mean, w where did it come from? It's a global movement. So, you know, Nike is a sport brand first and foremost, and we started out in running um, back in 1942 on the tracks in Oregon, and uh, and we've kind of just built up from there. So what we've done is you've gone back to the basic uh, form of exercise, the simplest form of exercise, which is running. It's easy. It's not you know. It's quite <laughs> some people might disagree with that. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, anyone, you, can you do can, it. anyone can do it. But um, the, the We Run Jersey itself is part of a global running movement. So there's 26 cities around the world that oh, are hosting this. Oh, they do the this. same. Yeah. Do they do it at different times of the year? We all started off in, in September and we end in, uh, in December. The professional runners, or actually the first runner, male and female, to cross the finish line in tomorrow's race will win the ultimate prize, which is a trip to Brazil. So we're going to Rio de Janeiro for the We Run Rio. That's at the end of November. Sasha, you should have entered, right? <laughs> Not for the Grand Prix, no, no, no to Grand run Prix. <laughs> They're also hosting their 10 kilometer race. So we're giving the runners Winners. from our race the opportunity to go and compete in, in Brazil. Sure. But... It, um, it really has taken off as like an event on a yearly event on the Joburg calendar. I mean, everywhere you look, people are wearing their Run Josie t-shirts and I'm sure it will be the same yeah. uh, this year. Big well, success. Well, that's the one thing, right? That everyone's wearing it. But, you know, it's it's this movement that continues because you have training runs. So you have the big race once a year. Uh, but during the week, we have our training runs in Rosebank. So oh, really? at five o'clock every Wednesday afternoon, you can come out and, and join us for a jog around. Uh, Where does that around start Rosebank. from? That's from the Nike store in Rosebank. Oh. We have one in Centurion and in uh, Cape Town and Tiger Valley as well. So, um, you know, every week there's something happening. But you're right in that it is a movement. My first run Josie race, that, the first night race, <laughs> was the first 10 kilometers I've ever done. Since then, now, and how long ago was that? About That was in March 2012. March 2012. Now I've done about five 21 kilometer races, half marathons. So it does start a movement and like start a love for running. Yeah. And, you know, you start slow. So you, you commit to running a kilometer a day. And if you can do a K a day, you then push it up to two. Uh, to two two k's a day and you push it up to 10 k's a week so you know you kind of just spread it out and then you try to get into the uh, the races a 10k run uh, whether it's a race you're competing in or even a fun walk or run it's it really is quite simple and i think if you're part of the the, the 10,000 runners tomorrow, they're going to help you cross the finish line as well because it's everything. It's a camaraderie on, on route and, and in addition to the entertainment and the spectacular um, other elements that we throw in, you know, <laughs> you don't everyone, give anything away. no, no, this is for the runners only. But um, it is, it's unique in the sense that you're all sharing in the same, the same purpose of crossing that finish line together. Awesome. And if people want to find out any more information that didn't come in their race packs, uh, where can they go? Is there a website? Yeah, everything is housed at www.weran.co.za. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Our handle is Nike Running ZA. Nike Running yeah. ZA. Okay. And when's the next one? So I'm going to start on this one. When's the next one? 
let's get to the finish line first and then we'll we'll make the big announcements on when the next one is oh uh, okay brilliant all right thanks Sarushka. thank you for coming in i'm sure you're very busy today ahead of the race tomorrow but i i'm sure it will be a huge success and we'll see photos of these red and black t-shirts sprayed all over Joburg Most definitely. In, on, in the Sunday morning papers. So yeah, well done on a great initiative and yeah, we'll keep in touch and hopefully chat to you before the next one as well. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha gives Sarishka a round of applause. That's Sarishka communications manager for Nike. The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10am to 12pm. Only on balls.co.za.